There's a little path down the street. It has mud. Hi, I'm Valerie Vaughn. I'm a folk singer and songwriter here at the Jersey Shore Folk Life Center at the Tuckerman Seaport. I write songs that tell the stories of the folk tales and history of our wonderful area. And I'm going to be singing a little bit of the song on the wall there that I wrote a while back about a wonderful tale about Tucker's Island. For the winds they ripped in Tarway Shore And Tucker's Island just is not there anymore Now it sits beneath the ocean Holding memories by the score Of a time when there was a place So that was a little bit of the song about Tucker's Island that I wrote many years ago. Now you may wonder, how do you create a song? Do you have to be a experienced classical musician? No, you don't. All you have to do is know how to write a few words because the words to a song are what we call a lyric. A lyric is really just a poem and the poem has the rhythm of the words and the beat of the song is in the words of the poem. I'm going to recite to you a little bit of a poem that was written by a, a young person just like you. He was only 10 years old and he wrote about something he knew really well, his special place. And it goes like this. There's a little path down the street. It has mud weeds and a mini creek. I go there just to get away. Its mouth leads right into the bay. Well, myself and his teacher thought, this is a nice poem. And it went on to tell an even fuller story about his favorite special place. And so I listened to it. I felt the beat of the words. There's a little path down the street. It has mud beads and a mini. I go there just to get away. Its mouth leads right into the bay. I'm going to show you how that beat and those words turned into a song. There's a little path down the street. It has mud weeds and a mini creek. I go there just to get away. Its mouth leads right into the bay. Sometimes Wasn't that a fun little song? I listened to the words, I felt the rhythm, and then in my mind, I could just place it to that simple tune. Da, 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 da. Music comes off the top of our heads. You might be able to feel that same kind of melody coming from your poem, and you just sing it in your head to the words you wrote, and you have a song. Sometimes it has wonderful creatures. Hello everyone, I'm Maddie, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your own guitar out of a box. So this is my example. This is what it's gonna look like. Um, I'll tell you what materials you need, and then you can get them, and then we can get started. I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need is a cereal box or any other kind of cardboard box that you have kind of laying around. It could be a shoe box or something else similar. We're going to cut into it, so make sure you can do that with yours. You will also need a paper towel roll. If you just have a toilet paper one, that's fine. Um, it'll just be a little shorter. You'll need some rubber bands. I have three. You could have two, three, or four, something like that. 
So that's what we'll build it with. You'll also need scissors, tape, and either a marker or pencil to draw where we're going to cut. And then anything else you want to decorate with. I used some stickers and some colored paper. You could use paint, crayons, markers, whatever you have at home to decorate with will work. So get those things first and then we'll go ahead and get started. So it is we're gonna cut the hole into this cereal box. So just like a real guitar has that hole in the center, we are gonna draw a circle and cut our own. So this should be a little wider than your hand, the circle. And you're just gonna start kind of on one side and draw a nice round circle to cut out. So that's one. We're gonna do one more on the top of the box or whatever side is kind of farther from this hole. So I'm gonna go to this side. I'm gonna use my paper towel roll to kind of trace a circle because this is where we're gonna attach it. So that way we'll know it fits if we trace it. So you have two circles, one on the side and one on the front. You're gonna cut them out next and for this next part, you might want to ask an adult to help you. Um, they could use an X-Acto knife, um, or they could use some scissors. You could just poke a hole and then cut. I'll roll, but you can see I use some paper, some tape, and some stickers to decorate it. You want to do that first, right, because these are going to go over top. So just keep in mind to keep the hole clear. If you cover it in paper, cut that part out also. there's We're going to add a little cardboard to each side here. So just keep that in mind and decorate it however you want to decorate it. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble your guitar now. Hopefully it is all decorated. Um, now you're going to need the rubber bands, the paper towel holder, um, some scissors, and some tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in the paper towel roll. So you want to put it into that um, circle you cut before. It should fit in there. And then kind of pull it out however long you want it to be. Then we're going to secure it with some tape. The rubber bands are going to actually help kind of hold it together too. But this will prevent it from sliding around. So I have some masking tape here I'm going to use. But you can use whatever tape or even a little bit of glue that you have at home. I'm just going to put a few pieces on. Then we're going to put on the rubber bands. So again, they should be long enough to stretch over your box. And we want them to kind of cut, like go over the hole. So I'm going to put two on one side of my paper towel roll and then one on the other side. So you can see there's one two and then I'm gonna do kind of one over the top there we go all right so now they're on the box you can see what sound it's gonna make right now we kind of hear it hitting the box right so we're gonna make a little extra part to kind of lift up those strings off the box just like on a real guitar they're lifted off of that wood so if you still have your scrap piece from the middle, you can use that, or you could grab some more cardboard if you have it, or fold up some paper. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna fold it. You could fold it once, or kind of twice, however much you have room for. And I'm gonna put this under the string. So I'm gonna put one on this side. Just kind of slip it under there, and you see how it's lifting it off of the box. Sounds a little better, but it's still hitting on this side. So if yours sounds good, you can leave it like that, or you can add another one on the other side, same way. Just kind of fold it up. If you want to trim it, you can make it look nice and neat. And then kind of put it under here for those strings too. Now when I play it, It sounds a little more like a guitar, right? It's not hitting that box anymore. So we hear kind of the actual strings. So you can tape these in place or glue them, or if you feel like they're kind of staying in pretty well, then you can leave them with just the rubber bands attached. I'm gonna add a little tape to mine just in case. All right, so we're done with our guitar. If you wanna continue it, you could add a string for a strap. You could decorate the neck of the guitar, anything like that. But now you can kind of play with it, play around with it. You could make your own song. 
try to play along with the song that you already know. Turtles, ducks, and beautiful. 